Good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, you know, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. So let's get open for business here and let's wake up those football gods. Wake up here, guys. Wake up. All right. So, um, it is Taco Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday, and we're going to go ahead and take care of some business and stuff. The Cowboys, of course, are, have the, their day off, so it's kind of quiet and stuff. We've had Jerry Jones um, talking about um, Mike McCarthy saying, is this really a question about Mike McCarthy um, coming back to the Cowboys? There's no discussion here because Mike McCarthy's going to be coach of the Cowboys for a long time. And um, when I got home today, I had – a package. I wasn't expecting things. You know, my wife is always like, you got another Amazon package. It's like, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what cables I need to get this stuff working together and this, that, and the other and stuff, trying to upgrade this things and all. So I, I, I know when I got something coming, but I did not know I was getting something coming. So I have no idea if this is something for one of you guys or what. Or hell, it could be a time bomb for one of them Eagle fans. Let's see what we got here. Definitely professionally packed. Not like that stuff that I send out. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Hey, I got AirPod. Look. Oh. That's kind of disappointing. I there we go. There we go. I was gonna say that this is these aren't fun. You know the little ones are like pat 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 pat. pat. Okay. Oh. We got a box inside of a box. Okay. All right. Hmm. Is this gonna be one of those things where you got a box after a box after box until you finally get down to something real teeny tiny? You you, you get a jelly bean inside. What do we have? What do we have here? Oh, 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 all right. I think somebody said, Mark, it's time to go to work again. Or is this my, this is my lunchbox. Maybe this is my lunchbox because you know a brother likes to eat here. Damn. Okay, there's no notary thing inside of it so this is a mystery to me on who sent this so whoever sent this no bomb oh yeah i could put me about eight sandwiches in there um whoever sent this to me thank you very much please let me know who it is that i can thank for sending me this you know i think i'm gonna use this on the outdoor set I'm going to put my microphones and stuff in there, uh, my extra wires and things. Uh, I put my cameras and stuff in there so that way, because th this is actually perfect because um, I have a lot of stuff that I use on the outdoor set, and I've got like a Tupperware that's out there that I put them in um, after I get finished. But this will be perfect because I can go ahead and put the microphones in there, put the wires in there, put the plugs and the adapters, and keep it all together so I can get organized. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is definitely what I need. So, if you look down here at the camera, I mean, excuse me, down here at the clock, there is 136 days, 2 hours, 30 minutes, and 55 seconds until the draft. And I'm not one of those draft experts out there. You want the experts out there, you, you need to talk to my man, Vosh. Vosh is the guy who knows everything about everybody. And maybe I'll, you know, Vosh is kind of one of those lone wolves. You know, Vosh <laughs> usually works mostly by himself and stuff. But I'm going to see if Vosh will work with me and help a brother out because, you know, I, I want to take some of that knowledge he has. So when you go over there and subscribe to his channel, make sure you say, hey, Mark said, you the man. Just make sure you tell him, you the man. And then maybe we can get some help from them. But what I want to actually focus on is people kind of say, well, you know, we should tank for Trevor so we can get more picks. I mean, you know, so we get him or we should trade back and get more picks and things. And I'm all about the picks. 
where the Dallas Cowboys have been over the last 25 years. Let me close this up before I cut myself. Um, where they've been over the last 25 years, one of the few things that you can say that the Cowboys have done right is actually drafting. We've gotten a lot of talent. And in fact, you look back at last year where we got CeeDee Lamb in the first round, you look at him and say, the guy's durable. He is a beast. He's going to be great when we get Dak Prescott back. Uh, Trayvon Diggs, who is supposed to be back at practice tomorrow. Um, you know, he's been basically thrown to the wolves from day one, and he's responded pretty well, got the injury and stuff, and hopefully the injury bug isn't going to be a problem with him. We got Navelle Gallimore. Gallimore has flashed a little bit. You know, he needs some seasoning and some time and stuff, but you look and say, okay, I, I like what I see so far. Um, we got Tyler Badass. You know, he is our center of the future, as you can see. Uh, Reggie Robinson, we haven't really seen yet. Bradley and I, we haven't seen it. And, well, we've seen Ben DiAnucci. And so that was our seven picks that we had last year, which was 17th, 51st, 82nd. Then we didn't get anything to 142. One, I'm sorry, 123, 142, 179, and 231. So this year, I want to go ahead and at, at the moment, all this is fluid, but at the moment, the Dallas Cowboys sit with the fifth pick. And let's see if I could, I, I, I oversized my pointer here. See, we got the Jets right up in there. And then you got Jacksonville, you got Cincinnati, and we got the Chargers. And had we lost to uh, Cincinnati, we'd be sitting here at number three. But it's okay. We got top five. We got the fifth pick, which is good. So right now, you got the number five pick, which is 12 spots higher than where we picked last year getting CeeDee Lamb. Think about that. 12 spots higher. Okay? So then we go through. Our next pick is early in the second round. 36. Okay? 36. 36 is close to that first round. Close to that first round. As opposed to last year, you know where we picked last year? We picked all the way down here where Washington's picking. We're up here, high in the second round. Last year, we took Diggs all the way down here at 51. Wow. So we're talking about picking 15 spots higher higher than we did last year, which is great. You should have a plethora of great players. Come the third round, ta -da -da -da, come the third round, we are sitting here at 72. 72, which is a lot better than the 82 that we picked Gallimore up. You see where I'm going here. All of these picks are a lot better than what you had. Okay, these are our natural picks, okay, as opposed to our artificial picks. So we're going to go through our natural picks first. Then in the fourth round, da, 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 we go all the way down here to the fourth round, we have the 103rd pick, which, of course, is 20 spaces better than where we picked up Reggie Robinson, okay? 20 spaces. In fact, that's damn good. Um, fifth round... Womp, 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 Fifth round at 136 is going to the Philadelphia Eagles from us. That's right. We made a trade with the Philadelphia Eagles so that way we could get back into the uh, um, fifth round so that way we could get Tyler Badass. Hey, I ain't mad at that because when you look at the Eagles defense, you know, where, I mean, excuse me, offensive line, they would love to get, get, get to have had Tyler back. They, they would have loved to have had him. We stole from them on that one. That was a great move and one that's definitely going to pay off. So we don't have that pick in the um, fourth round. Okay. All right. So, so that's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Then our next pick, I'm sorry, fifth round pick. Our next pick in the sixth round, we have 170. Okay, which we picked up from the Detroit Lions because of trading Emerson Griffin. Okay, so we got that pick, right, which is 170. And then if we go all the way down to the seventh round, we pick 196, a long ways away from Mr. Irrelevant. Okay, so if you're keeping track at home, what you got there is six picks. But if you act now, if you act now, here's the great news for us. Because Byron Jones went to Miami, 
damn. A lot of you guys say, damn, wish we still had that guy alive, you know? Byron Jones, he got an interception of Pat Mahomes. I get that. Because Jeff Heath went to the Raiders, who also, by the way, got an interception of Pat Mahomes. Too bad those guys couldn't do that here in Dallas. We lost him. Because we lost Robert Quinn, who ended up going to the Chicago Bears, where he has not busted a grape. And because we lost Jason Witten, okay, who also went to the Raiders, didn't pick up Pat Mahomes. We end up getting a third, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth round compensatory pick. Woo-wee! Woo-wee! That's four additional pence. Let me say it again. A third, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth. So, the way the compensatory picks work, they are added to the end of the round. So, technically, the numbers I gave you of draft positions of our natural picks, those numbers are going to change slightly because of the awarding of the compensatory picks. So, the first three will stay where they are depending how we finish the season. If we win three games, of course, we'll be dropping back further. If we happen to lose some more and other guys wins, then they may be moving up. But somewhere around where we are, the 5th, the 36th, the 72, those won't change. But what you will get, let's go back up here. So what you're talking about now is in the first three rounds, 96 is right now scheduled for Kansas City pending them winning the Super Bowl again. After that, they'll start awarding the compensatory picks in order. And at the moment, I don't know exactly the order of those who's been awarded third rounds and so forth. But we'll be somewhere close to that 96. We will be one under 100. I can almost guarantee you we will be under 100. So we'll get a pick in there. Boom. Right after that. So that puts, for the Dallas Cowboys, not one, not two, not three, not but, but four. Four. Power of four. Four picks in the top 100. Last year, we had three. And none of them were as high as what we're talking about right now. You know, our highest was 17. 17, 51, 82. This year, we're talking about fifth, 36, 72, and like 97, 98. That is freaking huge. Um, If you want to keep, keep playing this game right through here, you're talking about now, end of the fourth round, you're talking about, you know, like, say, well, by the time you put the other compensatory picks in there, probably about 138, okay? So what we're talking about doing right now, here's, here's where it's kind of cool. You got five picks, five picks higher than what you took, Tyler Badass. Are you not amazed? Okay, all right. And then, of course, you're going to get another one here, which will probably be be about 180, somewhere around 180 with the compensatory picks that are put in there, okay? And then you're going to get one more over here, which will probably be about 220, somewhere around there, 220, 225. That's huge. Ten draft picks. Now, the nice thing is with the compensatory picks now, it used to be you couldn't trade those. But you could package some of these things up for, let's say, hypothetically, that the Cowboys decided that they want to, you know, there's somebody up there that they want, kind of like a Tyler Badass. You could take a couple of these fifth, you know, like a fifth and a sixth and move up to maybe the fourth or take a a fourth and a third, maybe move up to second or maybe take a third and a second and move back into the one. There's all kinds of things you can do if you deem it got me. I'm not one of those ones that likes to move up. I'm more of a strength and numbers type guy. Because when you miss in the draft, moving up, you're not only messing up that pick that you picked, you're also messing up the picks that you traded for. And herein lies the problem for, say, the Eagles. They used up so much draft capital going up to get Carson Wentz that they had to be reliant on getting free agents to help fill in some of those roles that should be young starters, and they cost a lot more money. So for the Cowboys, if this is truly that quarterback class, 
that is loaded with quarterbacks. If we're still sitting in fourth or fifth, you may have somebody who wants to get up there for one of those quarterbacks that will give you even more draft capital. And here's the thing. I, I, I've been preaching this, and everybody keeps thinking that, oh, you're just a Dak Prescott lover. That's the only reason why you're talking about keeping Dak. He's garbage. No, I'm talking about keeping Dak is because literally – our offense puts out twice the production of him with him on there. The team responds to that guy, and I believe he's the best option that you have. I know you get in love with having um, one of these rookies and everything else, but your chances of getting lightning in a bottle with a rookie, it's slim and none. There's no guarantee. And, and, and I'm not saying that there's a guarantee with Dak Prescott that he's going to be 100% with his leg. But for Christ's sake, you've seen what he's done for five years. You haven't gotten a clue what those guys coming out of college can do. So when you look at this, between this and the schedule that we have next year, um, the teams that we're facing, next year could be a monster year for the Cowboys if they draft well. Now, if they draft like, you know, the Washington Redskins of old, then we're screwed. But if we get a draft like we did last year where we ended up getting basically four guys that are, have played tremendous amount of time for our team, the future bodes well. All right, so that's the extent of my knowledge here getting ready for the draft. I can tell you when it's going to be. I can tell you how many picks we have. And I can tell you that we're definitely going to be here during the draft covering it all. In between time, we will start figuring out guys that will fit what we're going to do. But before we figure out guys fitting guys to what we're going to do is we got to figure out who's going to be the coach here and what kind of defense we're going to run. So there's a lot of variables in this. So, you know, we, we got time. We got time. We got 136 days still to figure this out. But I tell you what, I like knowing that we got 10 draft picks to play with. I'm Mark Holmes. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here. Peace.